So I got all sorts of projects going on this workbench right now, but the focus today is going to be waxing the chain. That I use this uh, very handy waxing device. It's good for uh, arthritis pain in your joints and waxing chains. Go ahead and plug that in. Get it started warming up. It's already turned on. Let's see if we can get this open. All right, so this wax is dark like this because it has molybdenum disulfide in it. Now I'm going to go ahead and find my chain tool. There we go. And use this to take the chain off my bike for just a moment. You're not supposed to use these links more than once. I've been known to extend them out a few times, but going to go ahead and replace this one. I think it's already been reused at least once. Ooh, some nasty burrs on my chain there. I don't know if that was from climbing or what happened, but it doesn't feel good on the fingers. Anyhow, I'm going to wrap the chain up here so it fits. Wrap it up again. And a third time in half. Lay it in there. Now I'm going to leave this probably overnight. Take it out in the morning. Wipe the extra wax off. And take a look at it. I am going to go ahead and open a new set of connectors here. I guess they call them power locks. I can never remember which brand calls them which. I do like to wax those. Some people say you don't need to, but might as well lubricate the whole thing. So, there we go. I'll go ahead and close this up so nothing falls in there. And we will revisit it tomorrow. Alright, chain's done waxing. Time to take it out. You can see it's uh, the molybdenum molybdenum has settled to the bottom and uh, while I'd like it to be on and in the chain at this point I like being able to get it out and see what I'm doing. Uh, it's a little bit hot but this is actually made for sticking your hands into so it's not too hot. I'll go ahead and take out the power links there. And then I've actually got a hook here right next to where the camera is so that I can hang this up and figure out what is the correct end. This is where we want to grab it. Now the chain, I think because of heat capacity, actually feels uncomfortably hot compared to the wax sometimes. So you want to move pretty quickly. So we got that hanging. <clears throat> Use our uh, handy blue shop towel and wipe off the excess wax. This isn't strictly necessary, but it makes for much less of a mess later. Otherwise what happens is you end up with a bunch of the wax flaking off all over your drivetrain. It doesn't hurt anything. It doesn't look good. And uh, it's unnecessary. If we just do this, give it a quick wipe down, everything will be much nicer. There you have it. Do that once every couple thousand miles. I'll just let that cool for a few minutes. Put it back on. Don't let anyone tell you that keeping your chain maintained with wax is a lot of work. It's not. It's quick and easy.